There is a new report that basically said that Hollywood celebrities they are now removing they are now removing Meghan Markle's chair from their sides as Golden Globes award released their sitting plan. Now this person, this individual, his name is Robert De Niro, but let me tell you exactly what happened. By the way guys, before I move on, just to let you know most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're one of them, consider subscribing. This is coming at a time when we have seen in the past similar behavior from Hollywood celebrities where we have seen them snubbing Meghan Markle. I actually mentioned about a particular incident, if you remember, the fundraising charity event that um, Oprah Winfrey attended just a few months ago, and we have not seen in from that charity where Meghan was also there, Harry was also there. What we have not seen was a public picture with Oprah and Meghan, even though some people like you guys have claimed, no, 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 there is a picture, but I did not see any. I, I, I did my research, but there was no picture of Megan, Oprah, Ellen together from that event. So this is not the first time it is happening that people are shunning them, people are avoiding them. This is happening on a continuous basis. So what happened this time? Let's talk about this particular news, then you will know what I'm talking about. So Robert De Niro, this is exactly what is happening at the moment. Robert De Niro, he actually uh, has reportedly removed Meghan Markle's uh, chair from his side as the Golden Globes awarded, uh, Golden Globe Awards released their sitting plan to the public. Now, am I saying the name right, Robert De Niro? I think so. <laughs> the move is seen as a sign of De Niro's disdain for the former royal who was or who has been, I should say, embroiled in a series of controversies since her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. According to sources, De Niro was assigned to sit next to Markle at the prestigious awards ceremony, which will take place on January 14, 2024. However, the actor was not happy with the arrangement and requested to change his seat. Again, guys, this is not something happening for the first time. I mean, sitting plan and all that seems to be not really working very well for Meghan Markle. What else we remember? We also remember how the monarchy, when they released or they told public uh, about the sitting plan of Meghan Harry when they will be visiting UK for a particular event, we have seen them sitting at the very back row this is exactly what is happening i mean in a different way with hollywood community for megan and harry now if you read a little bit here I'm, I'm actually quoting from the report he allegedly told the magazines sorry the organizers that he did not want to be associated with megan who he considers to be a liar and a bully Again, this is not something we are seeing first time. A lot of uh, Hollywood celebrities, they have actually lashed out at Meghan and Harry saying that they are grifters, they do not do any work. So nothing is really new when it comes to Meghan and Harry and their relationship with Hollywood celebrities. Now, he allegedly told the organizers that he is not happy. He doesn't want to be associated with Meghan Markle. Critics of Meghan Markle and has publicly expre expressed his support for the royal family in an interview with the Times in April of 2021. So De Niro is not somebody who is just talking about Meghan Markle all of a sudden. He actually uh, opposed them from 2021 April, according to this report. De Niro said that he was appalled by... Meghan Markle's accusations that he felt sorry for the Queen and Prince Philip, who died shortly after the interview. This was, you know, uh, a disgrace that they will never ever forget, Meghan and Harry. How disgraceful that interview was, right? I think it's disgraceful what they did to the Queen and Prince Philip, who was very ill at the time. Dinero said they should have kept their mouths shut and respected the institution. Another thing that I also want to make mention of um, is that Oprah, she needs to be snubbed. Ellen DeGeneres must come out and say, I don't have any friendship or communication with Meghan Harry anymore. These Hollywood celebrities, they should 
speak out. They should be snubbed if they don't. Because it is time that uh, Meghan and Harry will understand that what they are saying, all the lies, uh, people are taking notice of and they should be shut up. They are just opportunists who want to cash in on their royal status. De Niro also said that he did not believe Markle's claims of racism and that he thought she was playing the victim card. She is not a real princess. She is a fake one. I mean, who can disagree with that? We all know. Now, I want to share with you another report. So not only that Hollywood community, they're snubbing, they're distancing themselves from Meghan and Harry. I want to actually share another report. Now, according uh, this is going to be a huge bummer for Harry. If you take a look at this uh, report from on the screen, Harry was recently snubbed by his quote-unquote beloved you know, veterans or army. Prince Harry suffers fresh snub as Royals Army comments cast shadow over him and quote. Let, let's re read a little bit more and I will explain to you what happened. Harry has suffered a fresh snub as he was not included in the Sandhurst's guide to its most notable graduates. Guys, this is such a shame for Harry. Such a shame because remember, he believes somehow in his head that when it comes to the veterans, the army, you know, the defense force of British, uh, the country, the Britain, uh, he is somehow uh, associated with them. He loves to be seen among them. But this time, they are the ones saying, no, Harry, thanks. But no, thanks. You are not part of us. You actually betrayed your country. Prince Harry has suffered a fresh snub. The Duke and uh, the Duke of Dufasus was not chosen as one of the 200 prominent people who served at the military academy. That's a good thing. Now, I also want to make mention of this, guys. Sandhurst uh, Army Academy is a very, very renowned academy. If you do not know, a lot of people from the Middle East, their children, they come here to study. In other words, this is a very, very prestigious organization. So when Harry is a snub, it is not something to be taken lightly, now, especially when he is a snubbed by this British um, Army Commander, um, sorry, British um, Army Academy Sandhurst. Okay, former British Army Commander Richard Camp pointed to the Duke of Sus uh, Sussex's comments in spare as a potential reason for the snub. Absolutely, he was absolutely... Uh, brainless when he wrote that memoir. Kemp said, I would, uh, I probably would have included him on balance, but it is not this disappointment. It is not a disappointment to not see him in there. Quote, I don't think he did anything particularly notable during his service, but he was certainly a significant person to go to Sandhurst. Quote, I suspect the recent uh, this harmony between him and the royal family has led them to decide against having him. I mean, he is actually making the life of everyone very, very difficult. Think about this. He mentioned about his trophies, you know, in Afghanistan, Taliban, the comment came. This guy is totally unscrupulous. Totally. So, yeah, he got what he deserves, Harry. Thank you, but no thanks. You're not going to be uh, seen side by side when it comes to U.S. Uh, sorry, U.K. Army and all that because you don't really deserve that. I have some comments here uh, from Kat and Tanya. Thank you, guys. M. Um, Kat Live. Thank you again, everyone, for joining this session. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.